and welcome to another Spectrum Geeks video. My name is Dale and you join me here in the still very messy and unfinished workshop here in the UK but we're here to check out this. It's the Mega Wheels A6 electric scooter. We're going to unbox it, put it together, talk about the specs, check out the app and then hopefully in a few days time when it's dry we'll take it outside and kind of get some impressions on how it rides and decide is this a scooter you should be considering in 2023. Let's do it. So the guys at Mega Wheels sent this over to me for free to check out and review here on the channel for you. But this is not a paid sponsorship. There's no need for them to review the video or anything before I publish it. So this is my own thoughts and opinions on this electric scooter. So it's um, currently the 8th of January. So still mega cold and miserable here in the UK. But we'll unbox it, have a look and um, see what we think about it. And I'll move the camera around a little bit to make sure it's all in frame. So there is a little bit of information on the box telling you how to take it out and do the front assembly and lock everything together. Electric scooter obviously is still very popular here in the UK. Um, again, in 2023, the government's still deciding on the legalization and everything of them, but obviously on a private road, private land, you can do whatever you want with these electric scooters. And Mega Wheels have these available online. I'll put some links down in the description. You can get them from their website, also from Amazon and they have warehouses in the um, US, UK and Germany where they can ship for free direct from there. So let's crack it open. See how easy it comes out. So it is very nicely boxed up inside. Some nice foam padding in there. And what we want to do is just pretty much just lift it straight out. Just like that. So let's get this box moved out of the way. And then you can see it. No peeking. Okay, so let's have a little look about how things all fit together then. So there are some cables here in the stem that uh, are already connected up. But obviously there is a cable here for the handlebars that we need to make sure that we get connected nicely. So the first thing to do is to do that lift these up very carefully and we'll pop the side stand down we have a little bit of support whilst we do this it's very well boxed put together and then basically there's this these little cables that connect into the handlebar area and that is actually relatively hard to get together because the end is slightly bulbous but there are two arrows so just make sure that you take your time get those two lined up together and then you pop the cable down into the stem carefully make sure the cables aren't kinking and obviously the light is at the front And then the next job for us is to get the screws and the charger and everything out of the accessories box and get off some of this uh, foam wrapping and then we can uh, tie up the handlebars into the stem. Okay, so we've got all the wrapping and the protection off now and then we just basically need to have six of these Allen key bolts that go in to secure the handlebars into the handle stem. They come in the little bag with the Allen key included actually get seven of them because you know you're always going to lose one of them but I think that the best idea is to kind of just line up one on each side first just to make sure you don't get any cross threading and it's all aligned and tighten it all up and then you are good and ready to be set up. So let's talk about some of the specs and the features of the uh, Mega Wheels A6 before we kind of download the app and check out and turn things on. So this retails for around £399.99 here in the UK. So I still put this at the kind of budget end because obviously many of these electric scooters you can spend up to nearly a thousand. So I think this is kind of the general kind of acceptable purchase price for something like this and similar to the Electronic and the Xiaomi scooters. That's what I'm going to be comparing this to in terms of my thoughts. Some of the kind of nice features about this particular scooter is it has nine inch puncture proof tires which tends to be quite common on the scooters. So good to see this is here as well. Uh, front driven wheel motor which is 250 watts and 
Most of them are 250 watts in this price range, but I can tell from personal experience, even though they're all saying 250 watts, some of them definitely have a bit more oomph and pull, especially for a larger person than others. So we'll see how that goes. In terms of its range, 20 kilometers, so about 12 miles, and it has a 5.2 or 5,200 milliamp hour battery on board. Top speed, uh, again, weight dependent, obviously ideal gradients and everything, uh, should be around 25 kilometers per hour, so that's 15 miles per hour, and it has three speed modes. Um, and basically in the lowest speed mode, it'll do about three miles per hour, so perfect in pedestrianized areas. Obviously you shouldn't be using it in pedestrian areas at the moment from a legal perspective. Uh, the second mode will accelerate up to around nine miles per hour, and then the third mode being the top speed of 15 miles per hour. As mentioned already, it does have a smart app, which we'll install and look at and in a moment. It has lights on the front and the back, and something I've never seen before on this kind of price range of scooter, lights on the side. So it'd be interesting to check that out as well. And it also has cruise control. It, and um, so basically, when you're in a certain mode, once you've held the trigger down for I think it's like three to six seconds, it will affirm that you want that speed and then we'll hold at that speed regardless of you having to hold the trigger, which is fantastic. It does have um, regenerative braking, which isn't that common on electric scooters as well, so that will help a little bit uh, in terms of regenerating the battery, especially if you're going you know, down lots of hills. And it has kind of like a hub front brake at the front and the electronic brake at the rear. In terms of the maximum weight that uh, they recommend, it is around 16 stones or 100 kilograms for the rider itself. And in terms of weight of the device, it's relatively weighty, like most of these electric scooters, weighing in at around 14 kilograms. And this is not waterproof, but it is somewhat water resistant. So in kind of showers and stuff, it is IPX5 rated, but I wouldn't recommend squashing through puddles or trying to kind of go through a lake or something on it. That just wouldn't be a good idea. Um, and it also has some gyroscopic um, components in it as well. So basically if you're going up a gradient or going down a gradient, it will recognize that that's happening and will attune the motor as well to assist with going uphill or, or down as well. In terms of ordering it, as I said, I'll put some links in the description. Typically, um, the whole order process can be around 10 days um, from when you've kind of first ordered it to the shipping, depending on your location. And they ship to UK, Europe, US, and Japan. So let's see if there is any battery in this at the moment. Get things turned on and see how it looks and does it light up all beautifully. Okay, so to turn this particular scooter on, it's a single press on a power button up here on the handlebar stem. One thing I've just realized is it's actually rear wheel drive. And that's the first electric scooter I've tried that's rear wheel motor drive as opposed to the front. It's actually just the, um, the hub brake that's in there. Uh, on the left hand side as well which i forgot to mention is a kick down stand and also the little rubber cover for the charging port on here as well but anyway let's turn things on so a single press on there you can see the whole dash is lighting up i really like that it's kind of something different that i've not seen on some of these other scooters as well and we can see as well this side lighting is flashing i'm guessing telling us that we're ready to go we probably will have to look at the manual and check things out if we do another single press, it will turn the front and the rear lights on as well. Perfect for that kind of dusk and nighttime use. And when you do apply the hand brake, it does make the rear light flash uh, to indicate to others that you're slowing down as well. So I think at this point, it's probably best if we download the app and then we can check out some of the settings on this Mega Wheels A6 scooter. Okay, so by default, when you turn the scooter on, it is set to kilometers per hour. So again, we'll look at how we change it for miles per hour here in the UK. But you can see when you first turn it on, it gives you an indication of how much range you have left. So at this point of the level of charge, it's saying that we have around nine kilometers of range left, and then it flips down to the speed setting. And you also see at the bottom, the kind of bars that show how much energy is in the battery. And then if we double tap, the uh, power button it moves us through those different three modes so again the three mile an hour mode the nine mile an hour mode and then the 15 miles per hour mode as well okay so you can download the app just by scanning the qr code that came on the front uh, kind of cover of the controller unit you do have to create 
yourself an account. Obviously, I'm doing this on an iPhone. So once I've installed the app and logged in, you have to activate your account via the email as well. But then you can set yourself up and do a search. So we're just going to search for this and hopefully we can see here we have the Mega Wheels A6 that's been detected. I'm going to press the binding button. And here we have uh, a choice to pick the colour of our scooter. So I forgot to mention we obviously have one here in black but it is also available in white as well. So yes we have the black one. We have to name our scooter so we we'll call this a6 because I'm not very creative okay and here we have it so we are now connected uh, to the Mega Wheels A6 obviously you have multiple Mega Wheel scooters you can control it all in the same app we can see a few bits of information here so we can see the battery level our total riding time which is zero hours right now our current endurance which is zero kilometers and zero kilometers multiple range also do have the option to lock the scooter as well so this is quite helpful obviously if you're leaving it around somewhere it means if someone does decide to pinch it uh, they're not going to have as much luck uh, another thing about the electric scooter not related to the app but the Xiaomi have this as well there is basically a requirement for a certain amount of motion before the motor will engage so what that means is if you're sat you know, a pedestrian crossing or something and you accidentally tap the trigger it's not going to whoosh off and kind of launch you in front of traffic it won't activate the trigger until you are um, moving along a little bit as well. So let's just go back into the app here. So also from this screen, we can also change the speed settings. So that low, medium and high, also turning the head headlamps um, on and off. And also that atmospheric uh, lighting that we have down the bottom as well as the cruise switch. So. This stuff is really kind of cool, kind of handy. Um, none of it's interactive with those, so you don't click on them and you go into any more details on the battery or anything, for example. We can go to record as well. And again, we can see information about the range and kind of the distance that we've traveled during the week as well. And then finally, if we go into the kind of my section, we see a bit of information obviously about our account itself. Okay, so now things are synced up a little bit. We can see a bit more information. We can see that battery level uh, and the endurance range uh, and the speed setting. Okay, so we're pretty much all ready to go. So um, initial impressions, I think it's really well built, good quality. I like the fact that obviously it's got the inbuilt bell on the um, uh, handlebars, which you know integrates really well. Remember to click the bell and subscribe if you haven't done already. Nice rubber texturized uh, mat on the kind of foot plate. I think that's actually better than the skateboard style kind of sandpapery version. So that'd be interesting to see how that works. And obviously, like other electric scooters of this type, the fact that you can fold it to be able to put it in the back of a vehicle or in a bag if you are commuting or whatever as well. So we we'll get this connected up. So there is a, a little kind of charge indicator on the battery. Uh, power pack here i'll see three pin plug uh, here in the uk so we get this plugged in get it charged up and then hopefully it'll stop raining in a couple of days and even if we can't go um to a private car park or something we'll just try it up and down here to get our impressions there's a nice little gradient so can it pull me up here like the other electric scooters can i should say push because it is rear wheel drive so just so that put onto charge something else that i've realized that is actually pretty cool about that lock mechanism not only when you have it in the locked function does it stop someone else actually be able to use it but look what happens when we try and move it the lights have started to flash and it's actually providing resistance it's stopping the motor from moving so someone would have to push it and it is flashing the um, rear lights and the side lights to indicate that something is up. That's kind of cool.
welcome back. It's been almost a month now. We're kind of early into February, but the weather is now brighter and it is a bit drier. So we're going to take the Mega Wheels A6 out onto the little cycle tracks and I'll test it out, see how I think it works in terms of performance and uh, then we'll check back in and uh, let you know what I think. Okay, so we're off on the Mega Wheels A6. I'm around 100 kilograms, so at the upper limit of uh, the weight for this. And the rear wheel drive seems to work pretty well. It's similar, I think, in terms of the power of the uh, electric scooters that I tested in the past. So again, that 250 watt motor at the rear is doing a good job of pushing kind of upper gradient in the high speed mode. I am getting around seven miles per hour, the low mode, uh, with the three miles per hour which is kind of that pedestrian walking isn't really worth bothering with in my opinion but the medium and high do work well the cruise control works really well as well so like i mentioned before after about three seconds it does a little beep you see a little cruise control icon come on and away we go and so far in the highest mode i've seen around 13 14 miles per hour on a flat and obviously it increases a little bit more as you are going downhill So what do I think of the Mega Wheels A6 scooter? I think it's definitely a scooter you should check out in 2023. I think it's probably in the top three scooters currently available here in the UK. I thought the cruise control feature would be a bit of a gimmick, but actually I really, really like that. It's nice to be able to rest your thumb a little bit and kind of stay at a good speed. But with that gyroscopic sensor in there as well, when you're going up or down a gradient, it will adjust accordingly for going uphill and obviously also release a little bit. The brakes are really, really good. I think the best brakes I've had so far on electric scooter, you can pretty much do an endo when you slam on the fronts and if you really throttle in, just give a little skip with your foot, um, you can pop a little wheelie as well. So definitely recommend checking out the, uh, the A6. I like the ambient lighting as well. It's not really been too easy to show that because it hasn't really been that dark. Uh, in the time that I've had to uh, review it. But I'll show you a little garage overlay where you can see just how uh, poppy it is in the night time. But um, yeah, I wouldn't bother with the slow mode, but medium and high work really well. So definitely check out this scooter if you think about getting a scooter here in the UK. Remember, there's links down in the description. Leave any comments or feedback or questions you have down below, and I'll do my best to get back to them as well. Please like this video if you have done, consider subscribing if you haven't done already. Until the next one, take care and goodbye for now.